2006 Bentley Continental GT in for an engine rebuild. 6.0 liter W12 aluminum block. Here's what happened. Not enough oil in the engine. Front two cylinders stalled for oil. Connecting rod bearings disintegrated from not having no oil. Piston ring skirts were all worn and scored. I don't know if you can see that in the picture. Notice the QR code on top of the rod right there. This motor has seven main bearings. Thrust bearings in the middle. Steel inserts on the lower case half. Real strong. All the machine work. Balancing. It's all done by the best machine shop. Right here on Long Island. Look how perfect they made the cylinder walls. Incredible. It's one of the pistons for the build. Dura Shield polymer coating, any friction wear. It's going to be nice. One of the connecting rods forged. Wrist pin bushings were oversized for custom made wrist pins. Here is one of the original Bentley wrist pins that have been replaced due to wear from not having enough oil. Here's a new custom made wrist pin. It's oversized and it's exact weight gram. Oil control rings. All the rings were hand polished. Second compression ring. It's got a stepped edge on it. It's perfect. And the top compression ring. Perfect. Here's all the components that are going to be inside this lower build. Including the crank, it's wrapped up in the bag, which you'll see in the next video. It's an inside of the block, so where the piston squirters would bolt to. See the configuration of this engine, it's truly amazing. And I'll teach you this in school. There's no torque specs or any sequences available through Volkswagen, Audi, or Bentley. And there's not too many parts available. So if you're going to attempt to do this, make sure you can get the parts beforehand.